Can you just touch on stress a little bit? What does that do to your body? It does many things. Um, well, a couple of things. When people stress out, there will be some chemical response in the body. Everyone heard about adrenaline. Mm -hmm. Adrenaline is a hormone, very powerful one, which basically um, makes your body fight. Okay? Your pupils dilate because you need to see better. Um, vessels constrict. So if you're injured, you're not going to bleed to death. Okay? Uh, you can get stronger because it's going to give you boost. Sugar goes up in the bloodstream. Adrenal glands produce that. At the same time, there's a mild distress hormone, cortisol, which does a couple of functions. Kind of it, it anti-inflammatory. At the same time, it can get sugar up. Okay? So when you already you fried yourself with adrenaline, then cortisol is going to continue frying you. So what it does, at least chemically, people have too much cortisol in the system. They wake up in the middle of the night. Uh, they have ulcers. Um, they constantly exhausted, sleeping disturbances, emotional disturbances, and body start breaking apart. It calls adrenal insufficiency. Decades ago, Hans Selye already explained what it is. It's readily uh, available, and people need to know about it. And the actually main community kind of picking up on the stress issues. I wrote a book, very good book. It's called Preventive Care Through Home Testing, which basically teaches people how to test themselves at home. Because, you know, here's a little example for you. A woman started gaining weight, had two kids, cannot sleep, gain weight, losing hair, you know, it's falling off, mm. constantly cold, depressed, no energy. She comes to the doctor and says, Doc, I feel like miserable. Hell, okay, not a problem. They're doing blood work. Blood work is perfect. Nothing we can do. You're depressed. Here's medication for depression. There are tests and early stages tests. How to check thyroid gland at home, simply using basal temperature or maybe iodine rubbing the skin. Things, tests like this do exist for adrenals, for kidneys. Uh, it's a physiological test. Uh, for thyroid, uh, you can check uh, calcium metabolism at home. You can check candida at home. You can check many things at home. So I simply combine all these tests, like 14 of them, and publish the book, which basically I give to my patients. Here, check yourselves at home. At the same time, some people have no clue what's right, what's wrong. At the end of the book, I actually put 224 symptoms, which healthy people do not have. Well, for example, you gassy half an hour after you're eating. Is it normal? I don't think so. But some people say, well, I've always been like this. Well, I'm sorry you've always been like this, but this is not normal. Or another symptom, you guess it two and a half hours after you eat. And people, you know, they fart a lot. I'm sorry. But uh -huh. is it normal? No, it's not normal. But for some people, they're so used to it, you know, they're not considering normal. So when people actually read the questions, they're like, well, I have quite a few of these questions. I have a few dozen. Well, maybe I should see a professional who understands this sure. and help me to deal with them. So again, we're talking about education of people. So do not trust me that you're actually getting better. You can actually go home and test that you got better and protect your health and kind of check yourself once in a while if something is going on. Mm -hmm. It's very important.